Are you guys ready to go shelling? Well, let's go. We brought you back out to our favorite beach and just wanted to bring you guys shelling. Hello. You can see clams and arcs, little mud balls, little pairs of angel wings. I have a broken knob welt there and a really pretty silver jingle. Check this out guys, you got to get a look at this. Right here coming down the beach. These are the big pelicans in our area. And they love to just come down the beach and they'll just glide with the wind. And they are an awesome sight to see. They are gorgeous. And they fly down this line of coastline constantly, so they are really beautiful. And I can hear an airplane, or actually see a little small one up there. And that's another thing that we see a lot um, in this area is air traffic. I guess they're just headed up and down the coast. Since most of the population is on the coastline now, right? Look at this. Wow, this would have been a really, really big angel wing. I'm imagining this thing would have been, you know, out in here. What you guys think? I think it would have been seven or eight inches, pretty big. What's this little thing, Steph? Periwinkle, periwinkle snail. Huh, cute little fella tricked me. thought it was not well, just broken pieces of one. And we do have our little Tupperware wagon that y'all see in a lot of our videos if you're familiar with the channel. If not, and you like stuff like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We'll take you on all kind of adventures down here in Beaufort, South Carolina. And yeah, we love to go on beach walks and if we find some shells while we're walking, that's a plus. Got a big piece of broken sand dollar. Sand dollars are something we find really commonly here. And another thing that we've already picked up because we came away before we started video, and just like the way this piece of driftwood looks, check that out. And found a little toy washed up on the beach for our granddaughters. They right back at the boat. They're doing some fishing down around the corner. A um, couple sand dollars down in here. Steph's got two pretty olive shells and the sand dollars and look at that one with the rust color and one that's bleached out and i'm not too sure why some of them are this color in our area or they're just not bleached out as much you think steph i guess i'm not sure and i think sometimes the sediment around them you know gives them the coloration like these two um baby's ears right here have that same rust color and white as well bleached out and white little baby's ears and why do why do they call them baby's ears stuff for the ones that don't know yeah, look at this little thing looks just like a little ear looks just like a little ear so that's where they get their name little shark eye moon snails found a few of those already. this is a pretty good size one and luckily there was no one home anytime we're out here looking we're all going to be checking to make sure that there's no one home in the sheds do not want to keep live shells or sand dollars. And we are loaded with shells. The beach is absolutely loaded with shells today. Here's a shell that's pretty common in our area. And this is not a big one by no means. Just look at it though. The colors in it. One of the cockle shells. We always love finding them. And if I see another one that's really big, I'll, I'll get take a look at it with you guys. Here's another one right here. A little different color. You can see it's busted up, but just, you know, giving you something to look at real quick. A lot of debris on the beach, but we're not, you know, a lot of, not, a, not a lot of the stuff that we keep. A lot of really pretty stuff still though. We do know that you know this stuff is not common to everyone and that's why we keep trying to make the videos bring you guys along 
show you something of interest in our area. Um, appreciate all your comments too. Uh, we try to keep up with the comments and stuff as much as possible. Um, we are getting a good many of them as the subscribers move up. So bear with us guys, we're gonna do our best. I like that white silver jingle. That is like pretty. Champagne. Probably a piece of one of those shark eye shells and we do find some really big ones. I have some that's uh, probably three inches in diameter, maybe a little more, some of them. And them are some of the biggest ones, biggest ones that I've seen in our area here. Just like the shark eye shells that, you know, we had showed you earlier. Calico crab shell. A crab that's a little unusual to this area. You just see them every now and then, calico crab. Busted angel wing. Stephanie spotted this welt right here. Um, it's a little bit busted up, but. <clears throat> yep, and I found another one too. So Damn. Kind of busted. I know all of you that's familiar with our videos, you know that, you know, we're trying to cut back on some of these busted shells and stuff because we have just collected so many. And I guess we were kind of like hoarding them. Hoarding them. <laughs> Shell hoarders. Yep. Didn't even know it, but I guess if the shoe fits, wear it. Shell of a problem. It's a shell of a problem. That so. When you see stuff like this and it has the pitted holes like this right here. A little rough on the back side, but look at that dark gray color and do you leave it? Steph, do you leave this one? You are fine, you decide. I don't think I'm gonna be able to um take it with us, Steph. I'm going to leave it for somebody else. Look at this shape. Look at this cockle shell here, Steph. What is that there inside of it? A little wormholes and some little oysters, looks like. And it's filled with sand. Is it really about just the fine stuff? I don't know. It's a gorgeous day out here. So Shelling's just about being out on the beach sometime and just, you know, walking the beach, get out and get a little exercise. I mean, just I make yourself feel a little better. And look here, I almost stepped on it. Buried in the sand. And that's the five hole keyhole sand dollars. You can see the little slots that's filled in. They were right there. Part of a bit really big horseshoe crab. And you see the barnacles and the bugs and stuff on it. Kind of nasty. So we'll move on down, right? And we have come down this beach a good ways. Uh, we're trying to go a little further than some others may want to venture out. 
that's one thing that we like to do uh the fine shells um so we got it we get out in the boat a lot we do a lot of boating and just in exploring the barrier islands and stuff of south carolina that you know other people can't get to by car so look at this and you can see picked it up right there just then kind of cool would have been a really big well and this is why we love coming out here so look at this well look at the colors this has some dark blues and oranges whites peaches cream take you guys out in the water a little bit ladies guys just let you feel like you're right here on this beach with me you're walking out in the water right here in the Atlantic Ocean How many of you could just sit here all day watching these waves roll in and seeing that constant change and listening to that beautiful sound? That's what we love. And we're going to keep bringing you guys on these videos. We're just going to keep doing it. Some of you are really liking the video. You are the ones that are like us. So that's fine. And we're good with that some people you know just don't like this type of content and that's fine pin shell Broken. and yeah i oh, picked that pretty. up that one is pretty. look at those points and stuff on that yeah. look at those two right there at the top they're kind of close together i wonder if that has anything to do with how much they grew in a year i don't know never know but anyhow. Tiny crab shell, blue crab. Pretty. Pretty little fella. If he were to grow up to be about six or seven inches, I'd love to see him in a crab pot. You? Look. That's pretty. It's pretty. It's busted up. So, and look at the growth down in it. For oysters. I'm gonna let it sit right there. Right on this barrier island beach in South Carolina. Look at the orange colors inside of this. It's like it had something metal sitting in it or something like that and this is just a cluster of oysters mm -hmm. and typically you know they don't have that really bright orange color to them like that they're more like this faded on the and you can see worm holes here also build up but that's pretty big olive shell it's got it's a little shells inside of it so it is empty but it's got a little slipper shell oh. it, it's dead it done yeah. fell off once it falls off, it's kind of like done detached itself. So so, I believe. Faded olive shell. I believe that's the case, but probably being washed up here for a little while. Look, here's some trash, and that right there, you know. So from a. Sand. Standpoint that we're looking at you know we never want to see that kind of stuff washed up on the beaches balloon trash and stuff every now and then 
when we got a chance and we are out here walking around we will go ahead and pick it up but luckily i've seen some pictures that some of you have put of the beaches that you're from and look at our beaches here in south carolina we're doing a good job keeping our beaches clean and guys i'm sure that has to do with population you know i'm we live in an area that is a lot less populated than the areas of other people in different cities. And I guess that's why we can keep tires a little bit cleaner. But it's a constant battle and we always challenge other people to please, if you're out on the beaches and you can just pick up a little bit of stuff, you know, help us out help us pick up some of the trash off the beaches for you shellers that don't watch our crabbing videos these are the type of crab pots that we use when we um catching blue crab and they have entrances right here and a funnel system in here and just a different design of a crab pot from our area And these things, they get broke loose from uh, the ropes and the buoys that they're attached to out in the ocean sometimes and just get washed up on the beaches. Pretty amazing how something like this can get washed up there just being that it's wire and they have a weight on the bottom, but it can still end up up on the beaches. And we're coming around into a little inlet and we got the beautiful seagulls down here just lined up on this inlet probably sitting here waiting on uh you know minnows and stuff to come by to feed on Anything of interest? Got a few little augers since I saw you guys. And a little Those pretty wilks. Yep. And a really big shark eye, even though it is busted up when I lay it in my little flower bed. You won't be able to tell it because it is big, so I am going to keep it. But those are some pretty treasures. Yeah. So, not a lot of finds, but hey beautiful day look at this piece did you dig that up i did not it looks like a shallow before so somebody's been through here looking uh-huh somebody made it down through here before us yeah. see i walked right past it it's kind of bleached out being in the mud and stuff needs some acid dip it looks like you go keep it yeah, look at this one. huh busted really big cockle Toes in the sand.
and you can see in our area guys we have a lot of space between the low and the high tide um typically in our area where well, our tides can range six to nine foot in depth which can expose a lot of beach area so even though the water edge is down there you can still see the shell right you can see the moist lookingness of this area which tells me that the tide you know and i've seen it it's uh normally you know right through in this area right here and can even wash in and over these sand dunes you're seeing and you can see the container right there washed up piece of sea sponge sea coral or sea sponge it looks like it would have been when it was growing positioned like that wow check this out look at them guys So we appreciate each and every one of you coming along on the video. I took you for a little walk down on South Carolina Barrier Island Beach. We came out here by boat and just wanted to bring you guys all along again on another video. If you can, please go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and let us take you on other adventures down here in Beaufort, South Carolina. You can check us out on Facebook, and if you'd like to help support our channel in any way, there are several ways. You can check out our description, we have a Patreon page, as well as a direct email to us. So we appreciate each and every one of you, as I said, and I hope you guys can enjoy the beach as much as possible. And we are doing little things for people on the channel, subscribers and stuff also. We're doing what we can. We're sending out some stickers free of charge to some of the people. and. We are also uh, giving out some shells, right, Seth? That's right. Yep. Here they come again. Right on down this beach. Let's count them out. Two, four, six. What did you come up with, Steph? 32. That's what I came up with, see? Happy wife, happy life. We'll see you guys. <laughs>